Tony. Hey, Counselor, how are you? Gee, how are you? Good, huh? You look good, huh? Right. Uh, you want a drink? No. Before we commence, a thousand thank yous for Webistics. I sold off some of my Disney to buy it. <laughs> my pleasure. So, what do we stand this month? Your uncle's petitioning to get out of jail on a medical pending trial. Let him. He'll think they're liable to let him out. Maybe as a temptation for you to act again. Since you are at the helm, it all gets back to putting up bigger blinds, really limiting your exposure to potential Rico bobos. Only way to run a family these days is bunker style. You peer out through the slit. Mumses. Excuse me. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. Your sister's here. Barbara? No, Janice. You're shitting me. See you later. My sister's here from Seattle. Nice. Go. If they had enough to pinch you for, there'd be bars between us right as we speak. So why do they want me to go down there? Lock you into a story, any story. So later a trial, any contradiction will sink you. Are we gonna go? Did you say you'd go? Please. All right. Procrastinate. Let me get our ducks in a row. In the meantime, keep your cool and go the speed limit. Don't give them an in. What did I just say? Don't give them an in. Are you all right, Tony? This is some bad shit here. What's up, Anthony? How did this happen? Midlife crisis? You can talk to me. Is that a safe? Yeah, why? You want to pay in advance? It's a little over 400K in there. I want you to hold it for me. If this goes down, I'm out of this area code. And my wife's going to come in here once a week for an allowance. You don't ask her any questions, and you never, ever refuse her. If she wants it all, you give it to her. She won't do that. I'm a little smarter than that. And if you're gone longer than the money lasts? Don't worry, you won't have to go into your own kick. This witness can't remain nameless forever. I didn't hear that. What are we talking eight to ten? For God's sake, Alan, I complete them out at three to five. All right, talk to Mike Gendler. See what he says. What's all this? Look thirsty last time I saw you. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I know I left you someplace. No? Hey, you don't keep them busy. Carmella, the kids? Good. They're no school shit. You bet that game last night? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think I need this for? <clears throat> so what do I owe you, counselor? You'll pay me when I actually have to do something. Let's hope that fucking day never comes, right? It almost did, very recently. Here we go, the Neil Mink lecture series. Well, isn't it fair to say we were staring into the abyss? A very close call, that brush with a murder beef. I told you. I was home alone. You and Macaulay Culk. Except then neither one of you would have been alone. <laughs> Champagne's nice. You want to give me a real gift? Insulate yourself from these shenanigans. I told you once already. I do. I am. What the fuck you want from me? Use one of the businesses we've got you in for something besides showing income on a tax return. Spend time at Garden State Rennery. Oh, please, you know what boiling fat smells like? You have an office at Barone Sanitation. Get your ass out of that strip club and go there. All right, I hear you. The feds are a business, Anthony. Millions of tax dollars invested in watching your ass. Sooner or later, just like you, they're going to want a return on that investment. I knew I was giving them a bad ticket. That voice, that voice. It's done, Tony, over. My advice now is to put it behind you. If this is all there is, these 23 tickets, they don't have bubkas, and they know it. Hey, I know it's a small thing, but you see, that's the fucking point. 
One more minute. If I could have just stood there saying, yes, ma, okay, ma, I hear you, ma. One more fucking minute, I wouldn't be in this spot. I beat a homicide, and now I fucked up, Neil. I blew an easy one. I blew everything. Tony. No, no fucking Tony. We got fucking federal charges. We got the FAA. Before this is over, they're going to pin that Egypt Dad thing on me, and you fucking know it. The predicate's up the ass, a fucking Rico case, dirty to life. Don't think about that now, Anthony. You'll make bail. There's no capital crimes. Get on with life. Absolutely, put him on. Anthony? The feds just hit Johnny Sack. You heard anything? I had Gendler on my cell phone all the way over here. Jimmy Petrillo was a cooperator. Brooklyn AUSA took down the whole Petrillo crew, plus Johnny. He would have reached all the way to Carmine Sr. if he hadn't died. Jimmy Petrillo? He's a sweet old guy. He gave them gambling, homicides, trafficking, 18 fucking years worth. It's a major crap lock, my friend. I was fucking there. What? Where? Johnny's house. My car's still in the driveway. I'm walking three miles towards my house. No law against parking your car unless it's in front of a hydrant. <laughs> not laughing, Neil. No, of course not. Anyway, you weren't named in the indictment, obviously. It's Brooklyn. They weren't coming for you. So frankly, were I you, I might actually consider laughing. Or rub a hunchback's hump. Or something. Yeah. Be of good cheer. Call you when I hear more. The police pulled over some kid and found a baggie with cocaine residue. They also found a gun loaded with hollow point bullets on the floor. Now, in order to beat the rap, this 16-year-old punk claims he saw my client drop that weapon. And mind you, not yesterday, but over two years ago using it in the meantime to shoot at cans and impress his friends. Somebody's giving grand jury testimony on something. So Carlo has flipped. We don't know. And subpoenas are flying. My hunch. 80 to 90 percent chance you'll be indicted in that fucking gun charge. I get sick when I think of it. Plus interstate fraud. And if Carlos starts talking homicide, fuck it. Not like we haven't envisioned this day. No, no, it's not. Look, trials are there to be won. 